Just weeks away from launch, Samantha Cristoforetti is in the final stages of training at Star City near Moscow. Soon she'll travel to the Baikonur Cosmodrome, where the Soyuz spacecraft awaits to ferry her to the International Space Station. Her journeys to and from space will involve considerable amounts of G-force, and centrifuge training is used to replicate this. Under the watchful eye of technicians from the Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center. Like her three fellow trainees from the European Astronaut Corps, also training at Star City, Samantha will be making her first journey into space. As flight engineer, she'll spend six months as part of the station's permanent crew. All ISS astronauts have had many months of intensive training and support each other on a daily basis to keep things on board the station running smoothly. I will be a long-duration crew member, just like uh, my colleagues, and uh, one of course has to remember that the ISS is permanent up there, so it's a rotation of crews. Uh, there's nothing up there that Samantha needs to do. If there's not Samantha, there's going to be uh, somebody else. Samantha Cristoforetti's mission will begin and end with flights to and from Earth in the Russian Soyuz capsule. Wearing the Sokol spacesuit, she'll travel with two fellow crew members inside the tried and tested spacecraft, a highly reliable design which stems from the 1960s. A big part of the training at Star City is inside a Soyuz simulator, and passing a final exam in its operation is a pivotal moment for any astronaut. Conditions inside the Soyuz are cramped and sometimes uncomfortable, but this part of the mission only lasts for a few hours. Once on board the ISS, there's plenty of room for a crew to live and work in. It's true, it's six of us up there, but the space station is so big that you're, if you want, you're going to find uh, space for yourself. And we've, we've known each other now for several years, so I think we'll be able to understand one another, we'll be able to respect that personal space. So it's not something I'm too worried about. And we have a lot of fun together, so it'll be fun. These last few weeks at Star City mark the end of an era for Samantha Cristoforetti. Her career as a fully-fledged ESA astronaut is about to begin. When final preparations are over, she'll be ready for every stage of her mission and will return to Earth next May as a spaceflight veteran.